Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your input latency, reduce input lag in CS2. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch around till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Okay, first things first is the device manager settings and for that you need to open up your device manager on the PC and once it opens up, simply maximize it. Now, basically what you are looking for over here, the first thing is under the system devices. So, locate system devices over here and in here you have to find composite bus enumerator, you have to disable that. High precision event timer, you have to disable that as well. I don't have numeric data processor but you have to also disable the numeric data processor and the SM bus controller if that is available for you. Now for me only these two are available so I have disabled these two. But if other ones are available for you, you can simply disable them. Second one is under the network adopters. So you have to look at your network adopters and then locate your ethernet cable if you are using that or you can use your Wi-Fi card. Right click on it, go to properties and right around here you have to go to power management and make sure to disable the first option which is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. This will help you to keep your packet loss and ping intact. Simply click on OK. Now next one is under the universal serial bus controllers. You have to open this thing up. Now over here you have to select your root hubs, all of your root hubs that is 1, 2 and 3 for me. You have to double click on it, go to power management and disable this option, the first option on all three of them. That will help you to get rid of your input latency once again. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is creating a restore point and this is really essential. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here, you have to locate your local disk C. Simply click on create and name it CS2 just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving the system integrity. If you want to restore everything back to normal, you can always do it with one single click without any data loss. Next step is the CS2 input delay fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description description below you can download it from there or you can also join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now first things first in this pack is the CS2 priority you have to open this thing up and double click and run the CS2 high priority this will prioritize your game and it will help you to get better performance. Right above that you will find the command line arguments you have to copy this whole string and then open up steam on your PC. Locate your CS2, right click on it, go to properties and then in the launch option you have to paste this whole string and make sure that it is saved. Simply close it and minimize your CS2. Next thing is the CMD tweaks and in here I have left two command from batch files. You have to run the first one that will help you to fix your input delay. It has a couple of commands that you do not have to manually type in. It will automatically do it to get rid of the input latency. Right after that you have the runtime broker. These are the processes which consumes your CPU usage in the background as well as your memory usage and disabling them will also help you somewhere to get rid of that. Third one is the keyboard latency fix and over here you have a lot of presets for keyboard buffer. Now leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from. I've also left a default one so if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default. Now last one is the mouse latency registries and over here I have left a disable pointer precision as well as fixed mouse delay. 
Now, in here you all have to run the fix mouse delay, but the pointer precision is the one that laptop users do not have to do. In laptop, if you use a trackpad, your trackpad will become extremely slow. So if you are a laptop user, I highly recommend you guys to use it only if you have an external mouse. Now, if you accidentally enable pointer precision, you can always disable it by going into mouse settings and over here go to additional mouse settings and then go to pointer options and then over here enhance pointer precision you have to enable or disable it and that will do your job once your fist pack is done simply close it and let's move to the next step that is setting up the system or boot config so for that you need to search for system configuration on your pc and right over here you will find boot settings go to advanced options click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your pc simply click on ok and then apply and then close your system configuration now to fix all of your network issues i highly recommend you guys to use gear up booster it will be helping you guys to fix your input latency your packet loss your ping issues and in general it will help you to boost your fps once you open up the application it looks like this and right on the home screen you will find cs2 right over here although it has a ton of games to choose from but for this video i will help you guys with the cs2 so simply select cs2 and then select on it now it will automatically apply the best settings and best server for the game to get you better fps as well as a better network connection without packet loss now as you guys can see in the game i'm going to get an average 58 milliseconds of ping with an improvement of over 63 percent and that is a win-win situation now gear booster offers you a ton of games to choose from and this is completely worth it if you want to play your games without lags or without fps drops last is deanimating your windows and a lot of you guys don't do it windows by default has a ton of animations which consumes your processing power and for that you need to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here you have to click on adjust for best performance and then you have to enable choose thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts both of them will help you to keep your windows look intact but disable all of the unnecessary services and animations in the background simply click on apply right after that go to advanced section and for processor scheduling set the best performance of two programs once it is done you have to simply click on ok and it will do the job so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox and peace out